Hey everyone, this is Mysterio, and I'm back with a new tool that I discovered and played with today. It was called a tufting machine, and it's used to poke yarn through a fabric, pull it back out, and cut it automatically. It was quite satisfying once I got the hang of it. So here you can see, this is actually the back while you make it, and then this is the side that you see while you're making it. So in the box, it came with a bunch of colors and some tools, some sweet scissors, and two heads that look like they change the style of rug. Uh, this fabric is pretty loose weave, and I bet that's for poking through easily. Uh, so here's the tufting machine. It's got this swivelly handle there, and that's really important, but we didn't know right away. It has a protective little hose on the tip, because that is kind of sharp. So the fabric comes loose and you need to make a frame and it needs to be pretty taut. Um, so I made a quick, very scrappy frame that ended up falling apart pretty quickly, but it only took me a couple minutes and here I am trying out the top thing machine for the first time, but I didn't know what I was doing. And you can see here that we actually poked a hole because we were going sideways. Whoops. Uh, thankfully, some friends stuck with me through the failures and we figured out that you need to drive it kind of like a car and check out how much fun we're having, right? So once we figured out how to steer it, then we got the hang of it and then we actually started having a lot more fun because we weren't poking holes in the fabric. So as you can see here, my friend is steering it like a car. Here I am giving it a go and check it out. It turned out okay, but definitely awesome for our first pass. All right, so here is the tufting machine. I bought the absolute cheapest one I could. It was still $120. Um, it's got a little tip here that could poke you. Um, and it's kind of sort of awkward to use handle and you have to curve around the fabric. Um, and so it's a, it takes a little bit of practice. I highly recommend starting with no design in mind and just playing around to see uh, how it works on some stretched fabric.